I ran straight to the supermarket when I heard about the nuclear strike. The government said a deadly disease was spreading where I lived and that they were going to eliminate anyone who had it. When I got to the store, I saw that almost all the cans of food were gone. In fact, almost everything was gone. I grabbed all the cans I could carry, ran outside of my car, and realized it was not enough. It wasn't enough to keep me alive in my bomb shelter. Wondering what I would do, the nuclear strike began a minute. I saw a woman and two small children loading a van with food cans. They had enough to survive years, I thought. I ran to the woman and asked if I could have some of the cans. I'm sorry. I have more people to feed at my house. I can't spare any, she told me. Walking back to my car, disappointed, I stepped on something. I looked down to see I stepped on a screwdriver. That was when I got the idea. I bent down, picked it up, and looked towards the woman, still loading the van with canned foods. I needed that food. Dancing with our demons. So I walked over to the woman. I'm sorry, she said to me. I can't spare an... She was cut off by the screwdriver rammed into her chest. I'm sorry, I said as she slowly died. Her children were gone. I don't know where they went. And I didn't care. I shut the hatch on the back of the van, jumped in, and drove to my house. In the street, there were people begging me to let them in the van. The nuclear bomb would hit soon, and there was no room, so I kept driving. They started trying to block the van. I floored it. I don't know how many people I ran over. I jumped out of the van, now crimson, and started unpacking the cans into the bomb shelter. It took about an hour. So by the time I got all the cans into the bomb shelter, I saw the planes. I ran into the bomb shelter, and after a few minutes, I heard an extremely loud bang. Then, nothing. It would be a few months till the radiation cleared up. So I sat down. I was hungry. So I picked up a can. That's when I realized I left my can opener in my house. The dark, the dark, the dark, the dark.